Do you ever find yourself waking up and thinking, oh, I have a whole day to myself and I have no idea what I'm gonna do? Well, that's kind of what today was like for me, except around noon I decided I'm gonna go on a two hour drive and probably a five to 10 kilometer hike on my own. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm heading down to Drumheller, Alberta, which is home of the Royal Torrell Museum, which is a pretty amazing dinosaur museum. And more specifically, I'm gonna to head to a place called Horse Thief Canyon, which is an incredible spot. Leela and Scarlett are in Saskatchewan visiting her parents. So I've got the day all to myself, and I'm gonna get out and do a little exploring. But before I get out there, I have to make a quick pit stop at Canadian Tire to grab some supplies for my trip today, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I found what I was looking for, got some bungee cords to strap my drone to my backpack, and I think I'm good to go. Ooh. That's got a little sour kick to it. That's good. I don't know if you guys have had one of these real frozen lemonades from McDonald's, but I recommend. Pretty legit. A hawk is totally freaking out on me right now. I'm gonna get going again. <laughs> That's a nice little rest break though. I made it to the canyon and it is just glorious up here. My goal is to hike down this canyon and at the end, I'm gonna turn probably that way uh, and keep going. One of the cool things about this canyon and this area in general is you can see all the different strata, different layers of earth, which is pretty awesome. It's like 400 mosquitoes on me. Ow. Yeah, bug spray would have been an awesome idea. As I'm walking around here, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Old West, as you see it in the movies. Thinking of like those old John Wayne movies, where you know, some group of outlaws is riding into the canyon and they have a big shootout gunfight type thing. So all these little rocks and crevices to hide out here, it's pretty cool. And there is a reason why it's called Horse Thief Canyon. That was a fun little flight. I think I got some good shots. And uh, I pretty much got through as much as I could bear with the mosquito situation out here. So I'm heading back and I can kind of see on the horizon some uh, bad weather rolling in. The other thing I really love about this place is that you feel like you could pick up a rock at any time and you might find a fossil. Which I haven't, but that would be really cool. Although it does look like there's a little something there. I don't know, I'll bring it closer. Check that out, I don't know. 
I don't know, I'm thinking maybe that little... So I decided to come back out and explore a little bit more now that I've dosed myself in bug spray. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. There's so many amazing spots out here. It's incredible. It's like everywhere you turn, it's something new. And uh, if you haven't been here, you definitely need to come check it out. It's so cool. Horse Thief Canyon, definitely an awesome spot. Oh man, I needed that. I was so dehydrated. <laughs> totally forgot to bring my water on my hike like usual. Oh, but made it back to the car safe and sound and time to head back to the city. So I scored something pretty awesome inside Fossil World. I got myself a Spinosaurus claw, which is pretty amazing, I think. It's not the real deal because the real deal is $5,000 and I don't have $5,000 to spend on a dinosaur toenail, but it is a pretty cool replica. It is the real size, it's modeled off a real claw, so pretty cool. And did you know that the Spinosaurus was the largest land carnivore at up to 55 feet? I mean, that is huge. If you watched Jurassic Park 3, you would have seen one take on a T-Rex and eat about half a dozen people or more. Yeah, I'm stoked on this. Double rainbow, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 